So last week we uh, started talking about uh, or continued our conversation about design patterns and we went to this presentation uh, right here where we talked about the singleton design pattern. I also put together a small project which I brought up uh, today that demonstrated the idea that, for instance, uh, this was our main uh, class that contained the main method. And there we demonstrated the idea that you can have a singleton uh, class that you can uh, organize in such a way that it only creates one instance of itself uh, because its internal organization is such that essentially it keeps, uh, you know, private uh, instance of itself, which initially is set to null, and then uh, when someone says get instance, uh, eventually if instance is null, uh, we create new instance of this class. Right. Uh, so today we're going to continue using this uh, using this uh, class in a different setting, and we're going to. Uh, 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 try to uh, look at uh, another design pattern uh, which is called object pool pattern. So if you think about it, um, uh, so essentially the idea of singleton, the, the idea of singleton was that you want only one single instance uh, of this class. Of course, uh, you know, in, in, in all programming languages, you have static data, right? So you could have just said static uh, singleton uh, instance, instance equals new uh, singleton. And then the rest of your application would use this instance. And that would be basically, uh, essentially, make it public somewhere. And this way, you can share this instance with, with the rest of your application anywhere you want. And you sort of like a solve, the, solve the problem with uh, one instance, because you know that it's going to uh, gonna get constructed only once, uh, because it's a static, uh, static data attribute. And then you, basically, you can, you can share it with the rest of your project and, and have access to it and, 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 and uh, use it anyway, a, anytime you want. However, uh, what the singleton design pattern accomplishes is that we do this only when we say get instance. So when someone when someone says singleton get instance, only then we uh, uh, we we do this and we create a new instance. Uh, and also we also guarantee that we protect uh, in multi-threaded environment. We protect this uh, method by creating this lock which I call critical section. And really, the critical section runs over here because I say now I can safely work with this, uh, with this uh, singleton, create it if I want to, and guarantee that only one thread uh, right now is doing this analysis on my instance. And uh, then as soon as I'm done, I'm just saying release, and I'm exiting this uh, uh, critical section uh, of the code. And then it's safe for me to return that instance and I know that I'm dealing with only one unique, uh, uh, unique instance of it. All right. So that's the management. And of course, we went through the details of the lock and mutex and uh, the idea of re-enterable re uh, lock and, and so forth. So that this is what we did last week. So today we're we're going to explore this idea and um, look at another design pattern, which is called uh, object pool. So. So again, the idea of um, Singleton was that we have somehow, we managed to keep a reference to a single instance of an object in our application. And the rest of the application finds a way to communicate uh, through this reference with, uh, with this uh, same object, because we, we want a single instance of it. So today, we're just going to take this to another uh, level, is that sometimes, sometimes, it's, uh, it's important to essentially uh, uh, be able to maintain a pool of objects, right? So instead of one object, we want to keep a pool of objects. 
And uh, so we have multiple instances all together, and I can even sort of like pull this uh, and show us that we could have like, you know, more. However, we can have an n a number of instances in our system. And then when the application right here, which sits in this cloud over there, so I can essentially fill this uh, cloud with some, with some color over here, that's the rest of our application right there. When the application wants to use uh, an object of this type, what the application does, uh, what application does here, in different places, it wants to talk to, uh, to these instances. Uh, basically, we organize this as uh, uh, that we have an object that's called an object pool, okay? Essentially, we have an intermediate object, which is an object pool, which basically manages uh, the rest of the application and essentially connects uh, different parts of our application with different instances over there, okay? And so if another part of application wants to use another, you know, another, another object, uh, it will find an available uh, object. And once in a while, you may be able to say, you know, I want yet another, you know, another, another access to, to this object. And the object pool say, uh, could say that I don't have any available objects of this type at this moment. And so you have to proceed accordingly. In other, in other words, in the singleton situation, we had uh, one unique instance of an object and we did everything to maintain its, uh, its, its presence in computer memory. And we, we did everything you know, in thread safe manner and convenient to use. Whereas here, we have a collection. And instead of having one instance, Right. Uh, this time we have n instances, and that's basically t naturally taking it to to, the, to this level. Uh, for example, uh, I could have a license for five database connections in my application. So I want to do my best to share five existing uh, database connection objects with the rest of my application, and. Uh, uh, it basically manage uh, only five of the instances at any given time, and this way I can I can perfectly uh, rely on the parameters of my you know uh, commercial license for for that database uh, uh, and which which may uh, suggest a specific number uh, of connections uh, concurrent connections that I can have uh, with the database server. Right. So uh, basically, when would you want to use uh, this object pool design pattern? Right. Uh, you essentially you you maintain a resource. You maintain a resource of uh, objects. Right. A resource pool of these objects. And uh, per, uh, so the performance gains and the uh, uh, attractiveness of of this comes in uh, in uh, the idea that. Uh, uh, creation or initialization of this reusable object may be an in, in expensive operation, right? So every time, for instance, I need a database connection, I need to find a certain URL of the server, uh, I need to go through a certain um, uh, sometimes complicated uh, protocol to establish the connection, I need to verify that my license is okay to use, that there are no any kind of uh, additional errors to be reported. So it could be an extensive uh, op, you know, uh, uh, event to, is, to establish that connection and configure it. So it, it may be prohibitive to simply dispose of it and start everything all over again, and even perhaps having a performance hit on the server side because I have so many unnecessary operations to perform the next time because I've already done that. Essentially, I want to recycle that database connection anytime another part of application wants to talk to the database, right? Uh, similarly, this could be, uh, you know, an object that represents a large set of data uh, in the in computer memory, which I want to preserve and not repopulate it every time uh, when I create this. Uh, class. So I want to make it reusable, right? I want to make that reusable. Uh, and uh, and so there are basically two names for uh, two names for this type of uh, uh, 
um, uh, for this type of uh, a resource, a manager in a class in the system. Uh, it's called uh, multiple names for it. Similar to a singleton, uh, an Anton, right? Uh, versus singleton, right? Anton. Uh, or uh, we could name it uh, object pool. Object pool, right? Uh, and that's what I think we refer to uh, in this uh, specific uh, handout. We named this design pattern an object pool, essentially the idea of having an object which is an object pool. Okay. Um, and uh, we can say, uh, we can also say that it's a, a reusable pool, reusable uh, pool. Okay, because over here, these are essentially, these objects right here are reusable objects. The idea is that we want to create them, but we don't want to destroy them. Okay, and uh, therefore, we recycle them or we uh, reuse them. So that's the idea we, that we want to explore. And today, the focus is going to be, what do we do to implement a class which behaves as a reusable pool or this Anton uh, type of uh, design. Uh, so what do we do? What kind of restrictions we impose? What do we, what do, we do with that? All right. So this, here's the uh, UML diagram. And um, I think that uh, I, will, um, I will now proceed to essentially my, uh, my project. And what I can do with this, I can simply make a copy of it, right? So I can make a copy of it. And, and say this is a, a reusable pool or something like that and uh, demonstrate it.